and welcome back. So big, big day, as you can see. It's looking a little empty. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we have officially like sold almost all our furniture we're getting all new furniture for our move to Colorado so um, we don't have a dinner table so we're using this fancy table for now usually we sit at our bar but we sold our bar stools I'll show you my living room here this is our couch it's a blow-up bed. <laughs> so yeah, so that is what's taking place today. So it is February 17th, and we are starting to pack up a lot of our items here, um, just kind of getting them ready because we close on our house in Colorado on February 26th. So it's getting crunch time. We are back out in Colorado again next week and closing. So on this first haul out there for closing, we're gonna bring a bunch of stuff with us so that the second round, we are officially out there. So um, it's kind of crazy. It's just so empty in here and yeah. It's crazy, <laughs> but that's how it goes. So time to get packing, and then eventually we're gonna be getting a U-Haul trailer to pack more, but we'll be doing that a little bit later on. Not ready for the U-Haul yet, so. So a fun little trick I found on Pinterest is for like our closet here. We just took like some garbage bags and put everything together in one bag for like all our summer clothes that we know we won't be wearing anytime soon. And we just like left all our warm weather clothes out, of course. So that's pretty cool. I'm really loving that. And this is the mess that is taking place in our bedroom right now. We pulled our bed out just so we could get back there and do some paint touch-ups. And usually we have a headboard and everything, but we already took all that down. But we got rid of our nightstand, so we're using some chairs for our nightstands for now. So Kind of crazy, kind of crazy right now. So last night we actually spent all evening like packing up a lot of our kitchen wear. And it's so weird because like our cabinets are empty. I have one wine glass and a few plates. That's all we have right now. <laughs> but otherwise like so many of these cabinets are empty right now. Um, but we're like at that awkward stage where we have like big items. Like I'll show you. We have like blender and our meat grinder and like all these like really big items. And it's like, do you put those in these? It's kind of weird because like they can almost just kind of be on like their own. Like why pack them in a box? So I think those are like things that we're not going to really like pack. We'll just like put in the back of the truck and hopefully they don't like get scratched or whatever. But they're metal and so I don't think it's a big deal. Oh, and you guys, I'm so weird. If my brows look like crazy... I just got them microbladed. I had my 18 month touch up yesterday. So they're like very vibrant because they have fresh ink on them. So um, if it looks funky in the camera, I apologize, but I had to get in before we left because I love my lady that I go to and I'm gonna miss her. So I'm like, I have to get my touch up in. So. Kind of where we're at thus far for the back of the truck um now we're going to be able to like lay a lot of longer items because we have piles of things <laughs> over here so like here's some more of those items like all my large pictures and stuff you i mean you don't really box those you just kind of wrap them and then we're just going to like lay those on top of that stuff in the back and then when we go pick up the u-haul we can start putting like the larger items in there so like all of our kayaks, a few furniture pieces, and yeah. I will say it's been like really nice not having to worry about large furniture pieces. We are like, we're starting fresh. Our house is such a different layout in Colorado. So a lot of the items I had, like the bar stools and um, the couch and everything, it just, it went vibe well in there. It's like, well, this is a good opportunity to just start fresh, sell everything, and yeah. Hey you guys, we're getting our trailer here from U-Haul. This is the biggest trailer they got. It's a six by 12. So this will be for our first load. We got a cowboy. <laughs> it's pretty big. It looks good. All right, you guys, the U-Haul is at our house. 
and we will be packing it all up tonight. So it's gonna be crazy to see how much we can fit in the U-Haul. Um, so this is just our first run um, to Colorado with it because um, we close on our house Friday. So after we close, we can start unpacking so we figured we might as well do a load while we're you know heading down in there anyway our hope is after this load we just have one more load um we just get one more of these trailers and that's it so it's crazy We're taking a quick break um, because as we're filling the U-Haul, there's so much room in these U-Hauls. Like we were thinking, oh, we're gonna need like two of these. And now we're like, um, we have so much room and we don't have that much stuff left to really pack. So we were actually thinking about bringing our bed the second round. Um, we'd get it the same size trailer and everything because we have a king bed and they don't fit tall. Um, in like the trailers. So we have one of those lull beds, which um, when we ordered it, it came to us in like this small box and then it expanded once we took it out. So we can bend our mattress, like roll it up. And so we're gonna do that. We're just gonna like bring our bed on this first round too, because there's no point of like getting another big trailer for the second round only for the bed. So holy buckets, now I'm gonna tear down the bread, I guess, and we're gonna be sleeping on a blow up mattress from here on out. <laughs> That is the perks of having these memory foam, what I don't really know what they are. Memory foam bed. Yeah, memory foam bed. Because now it's few half straps, the size. A few straps, a couple of arguments, and you're good to go. That's right. <laughs> so if we would have had a regular mattress where we couldn't fold it, like I said, king beds don't fit in any size U-Haul trailers. So this worked out super well so since we're closing this friday we're not there for very long so we're closing unpacking and then literally coming back home on sunday so we have like everything ready for like a little camp out because like we don't have a fridge and all those things there so it's like we're gonna be camping in our house so i have started to pack all the essentials so it's easy to get to toilet paper some paper towels we got a rug because we'll shower in the house and some bath towels and we figured we could like start kind of cleaning the cabinets and kind of prepping them. Probably won't be like unpacking until we're like 100% there. Brought some coffee, my favorite of course, caribou. I'm gonna miss them. The one thing, it really stinks. There's no caribous in Colorado, which that kind of hurts my heart because that's like my favorite. And that's what we drink every day for our coffee. And I don't know, I might have to like start ordering them. I haven't looked in grocery stores yet to see if they have caribou coffee in the grocery stores. So that's like one of those things that's might be missed from Minnesota. You guys, we are Hello. master packers. Yes. <laughs> I don't think we could fit anything more in this trailer. Um, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> This is some serious skill, you guys. <laughs> Good job, we got it all in. We don't have a lot left, so yeah, round two, we could just use a smaller trailer. So that'll be awesome, but we don't have to get a big trailer again. Good job. Just a few things I wanna bring up about renting and moving. Um, I, just hopefully this can help you maybe save some money in the process if you're making a long distance move. I am part of a Moving to Colorado Facebook group and there's a lot of Facebook groups um, that are from people who are moving to different states. So Arizona, Florida, there's moving Facebook groups for all those types of things. And so it's been really helpful just kind of seeing and reading what others are doing if they're moving from, you know, California to Colorado or Chicago or wherever they're moving from. Um, but one thing I just, I wanna 
kind of bring up because um, moving is expensive. It's one of the biggest expenses. And so I've been seeing um, some people on the groups saying it's costing like six to ten thousand dollars to move, you know, all their belongings from their state to Colorado or wherever, long distance move. And I know there's so many variables for everyone. And so um, if this can help anyone, I hope it does. If you are able to move yourself, you will save so much money. If you do not plan on using any of your furniture or your new house is a different layout like ours is and like your furniture won't work, um, just get rid of it. Sell it on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, whatever. Get rid of it because if we were to spend $6,000 on moving expenses, I can tell you for moving all the furniture that we sold to go rebuy furniture, we're not gonna spend, you know, six thousand, eight thousand dollars on new furniture. Like, that's not gonna happen. We need a new couch, some bar stools, and a table. That is no way six thousand dollars or more. Everything you pack and bring with you is gonna cost you money because you will need a larger truck, a larger trailer, whatever it is, it's gonna be more money. So, you know, we got this six by twelve trailer which pretty much fit all of uh, the things that we decided to keep and it only cost us $560 for a one way from Minnesota to Colorado. We drop off in Colorado when we're done unpacking it. And then for our second trip, we're able to get one of the smaller trailers so we don't need the large trailer. And um, that will be like a five by eight and I think it's gonna be maybe like $300, $350 after all the taxes and stuff. By the time we pay for both of these trailers, and probably the gas to get out there. Um, maybe 1200 bucks it's gonna cost us to do all that by ourselves. Um, now, I do realize we do have a truck that can tow these trailers, so I understand many people might not have that. Um, however, you can use, if you have like a larger SUV or something, if it has a towing package on it, you know, definitely consider that. We also looked into um, possibly purchasing one of those larger U-Haul trucks. It would have costed us probably about the same amount of money. It's probably right around the thousand dollar mark to just get one big U-Haul truck um, and do our move that way. However, we have the two vehicles and we have a cat and stuff and I didn't want to like tow a vehicle behind the U-Haul and all these things. We just kind of wanted to use our own vehicles for everything. So if you guys can move yourself, pack everything yourself, you can save a lot of money. Some of the discussions in these groups are people hiring movers, but really consider all the stuff you're moving. Are you truly gonna use it in your new house or are you gonna be eventually buying something new? Cause everything you bring with you costs you money. So if you wanna get something different in your new house, don't pack it and spend the money to move it because it's crazy money to do all that. And um, like I said, I know everyone's situation is different. Maybe you might not be able to pack and move everything on your own. Everyone has their own circumstances. You can save a lot of money by doing it yourself and just minimizing the stuff in your house. Everything we packed, every inch of our house we went through we either donated, sold it, or threw it in the trash. Everything was very much thought about when we were packing. So if you are gonna sell some of your furniture, give yourself time to do that. Um, we started like a month and a half before we knew we were closing because it just takes time to sell stuff and meet with people and that whole process. And I know it's a hassle, but I mean, it's cash in your pocket too. So all the stuff we've sold has pretty much been way more than what we're even spending on you know this move so we came out ahead by selling all this stuff i hope this helps you guys get some tips from this all right you guys the day is here february 25th it is 4 15 in the morning <laughs> and we're off to colorado for closing on our new house tomorrow um so fun of fact we were supposed to be on our way to puerto vallarta today but not. not happening. We ended up canceling that trip, not because of the closing, but because of all the CDC stuff. We couldn't risk being quarantined in Mexico. So, and we yeah, now we have a U-Haul and we're going to Colorado. So I say it's a pretty good trade. New house in Colorado, Puerto Vallarta. I mean, they're both great, but yeah, you know. <laughs> let's go. All right, we are full to the brim on the road by four. 
426. 14 hours till Colorado. Such an exciting day. Today is the day. We are in Colorado. We just left our hotel. We're at the Human Bean getting a coffee. It's like 9 30 in the morning. We don't meet at our house for closing until like 11 30. Just giving you a scoop on the U Haul. How'd it go, hon? Good. It was super easy. It pulled really well with our truck, and that thing is packed full. It burns the gas. But it does burn the gas. We've had to fill up a lot <laughs> more, and then as you're coming, you know, this way, you're climbing mountains and hills and stuff, so it definitely burned the gas. But overall, it was really an easy trip with the trailer, so highly recommend. Good quality trailer. Didn't sway. Great tires. Like, everything was good. So, right? Right. There's our home! We closed and it went amazing and we are officially home and we're going to be on a, doing the U-Haul right now. <laughs> this thing unpacked. Unpacked. Return it. <laughs> Ready to go inside? Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. Is it unlocked? <laughs> 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 